In this video, we're going to have a look at the second principle of readability, which is chunking. So why should we chunk our documents? Well, chunks make it quicker to scan, much easier to skim, and much more approachable uh, to work with the document. And there are essentially three ways in which you can do it. You can do it with paragraphs, bullets, and you can also do it with section headings. So let's have a look at the section headings first. So as you can see, here is an original text, a history of a school. And without changing any of the text, maybe without even increasing the font, you can make it much quicker to somebody, for somebody to approach by simply adding section breaks and a little section headings. And that is a very beneficial thing that you can uh, that you can do. And it's not only uh, for uh, for your for the readers because they can quickly scan through the headings and, and know where to go. And but they, it's also useful for people who use a screen reader, who very often when they land on a web page will first listen to all the the headings to get them a sense of what's on that web page. And and again, they really really will appreciate uh, that sort of a structure even because they cannot see it, and it's much more difficult for them uh, to get a sense of the overall structure of the document. And you should always make sure that you don't, don't, don't only mark those documents, uh, those section headings visually, but you also need to mark them with, uh, uh, with heading uh, labels. And in Microsoft Word or in any web editor, you will always have styles that you can, that you can mark them with. And uh, you will know in Microsoft Word that if you go to View and choose Navigation Pane, that you're going to see the outline of the document. So if you're not seeing this outline of a document, that means you haven't marked your, your sections properly. And uh, as, as I mentioned, you need to use styles for that. And again, that's in the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Word, but it's in all the other editors as well, including web editors. So you click where, on the paragraph that you want to make into a heading, then you click on the heading to style, and, uh, and that changes the formatting so it's consistent, but also tells all the other technology that may want to use it uh, to, uh, to make that into a heading. Now, you can find a much more on LinkedIn Learning about both how you can make accessible documents in, in, the, in Microsoft Office, but also how you can use styles to create good outlines. One more benefit of, of that is that if you've made a, a document that's properly formatted in Microsoft Word, you can then export it into a PDF and, the, and the, the headings will then become bookmarks in the PDF and the table of contents will become clickable. And uh, that uh, is something that can be very useful because it, there's nothing more frustrating when you come to a 50-page document and you, you look for bookmarks so that you can navigate around it and you don't find any. This is, uh, there's another benefit to you actually when you're crafting your documents in Microsoft Word if you, if you use this, this, this approach because you can actually even uh, drag uh, sections around using the navigation pane. So that is a very useful thing. So if you want to move something up and down, you can simply go in the navigation pane and then you, uh, you can remove them. You can also demote entire subsections. So, so it's an easier way of managing your outline. So you will find that by doing the right thing, you're actually benefiting yourself as well as, as your readers. And uh, of course, the final benefit that I've already mentioned is that you can easily create a table of contents with just one click. You can uh, go to references, choose table of contents, insert that uh, table of contents, and, and there it is. It has all the right pages. It will always be up to date. Because if you then go ahead and, and move the sections around, like, like it's happening right here, then uh, you can go back to your table of contents, click on update table, and say, update the entire table. And what that will do is it will update the table of contents to reflect the current structure. And again, uh, as, as, as I mentioned before, you can then very easily export it into, um, into a PDF that maintains that structure. And again, you've made it more accessible and just simply easier to read and access and navigate for your readers. So that is on the importance uh, of, uh, of chunks and navigation of chunks. In the next video, we're going to have a look at text guides.